listen, and repeat. One day, I was talking to the owner of the largest bakery in our street, which has branches in many high-end neighborhoods, where it is characterized by the quality of its baked goods, and the conversation touched, on the mother where I used to talk, to him because we are neighbors, for a long time. I was telling him about my mother's fatigue, he told me that. Without his mother, he would not have reached where he is, and his eyes were filled with tears. As he remembered her, and he remembered the day his father died. His father was an agricultural worker who received his daily wages, who died suddenly and had no money in their house, and his mother was a simple, uneducated peasant lady, and it is reported that while receiving condolences at his father. A lady from the village asked his mother, How do you feed these children? He was the eldest of his three siblings, and was only ten years old, while his younger sister did not complete her first year. I glimpsed in my mother's eye at the time a look I could not forget. He remembers that after the mourners left, he and his brothers slept and the mother slept among her children and I heard her complain to God out loud and say God I have no one but you, I depend on you alone, I don't know how I will feed my children. He recalls that during his father's funeral days, the villagers brought them food, but after the three days were over, and everyone left for home, their house remained without food, except a little flour and rice, and instead of the mother asking the people. His mother woke up in the morning, and made bread out of flour, then cooked some rice, left it for her children to eat, put the bread in a basket and carried it over her head and walked until she reached a market near their village, then she sat selling bread. God the Almighty honored her and she sold all the bread, she bought more flour, while she was coming home, the next day she woke up at dawn and baked more bread. But the next day he asked his mother to give him bread so that he could go sell it in the market because he could not go to school and let her sell the bread. But the mother insisted that her son go to school, and she told him that this work is not suitable for him and that she is afraid that one of his classmates will see him, but he did not care about this, all his concern was not to let his mother bear this burden alone. After a long argument between them he told her that she had to wait until he came back from school and then went to the market instead, and in the end the mother agreed so he would go to school every morning and when he came home he would carry the breadbasket and stand selling it in a different place. When people found a child selling bread, they would buy from him, and with more bread, people would ask him for kinds of pies, so he would go and tell his mother, so she would bake different types of pies, and customers would ask for more. I was giving all the money to my mother, and she was working on improving the management, where she would spend part of it on us, buy with part of the raw materials necessary for work. Because we live in the countryside, almost all the houses manufactured dairy products such as butter and cheese at home, my mother thought and started buying some products from the ladies of the village. I was showing those products to my customers and they liked it a lot and they started asking for more, and my mother opened the doors of livelihood for the ladies of our poor village as well. My mother and I were able to set up a business and form customers, but we didn't actually have a shop where I was selling in the market and distributing it to customers' homes and over time when I grew up and got to high school decided to enroll in intermediate technical education. Because I wanted to save on my educational expenses, because my brother and sister were young, and I agreed with my mother to rent our first bakery in the city. My mother and I used to work alone at first, 
but over time we expanded the work and we had workers and my mother became only doing the task of supervision, then the bakery expanded to have several branches in different places. And my brother also got an intermediate certificate and is now working with me, and my sister got married, all thanks to my mother who never thought to expose us to asking people, and endured the hardship of fatigue for years until we became who we are, God's mercy on her. This is the story of the mother of the fight worthy of appreciation. Everyone should benefit from this story, because it puts in front of him hope and ambition to strive and work to reach everything we wish for. I hope you like the story and that you have benefited from it. Please do not forget to share it with your friends so that everyone benefits. Goodbye.